In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything we know about the new legends that are going to be coming to Apex in the future. Now, we know Apex already has a lot of unique legends, so it's probably likely that they slow down the rollout of new legends, bringing maybe one every two seasons. So this should give you a decent idea of what they've been working on and what the future of Apex might look like. But let's start with the one I think is most likely to come soon, and that's Uplink. Now, Uplink was leaked as a defensive legend, but he kind of seems like more of a support legend if you ask me and I think if we were going to get a new legend next then it should be a new support legend and he has some really interesting abilities that I think make for a really really powerful support. First of all the passive ability is the network communion which allows him to gain 25% of recovery effects from his teammates within a certain range and if you remember the date night duos game mode in Apex where you could heal and it would heal your teammates well this ability pretty much works works exactly like that, so we know they're already capable of doing this. Then his tactical is essentially a lifeline drone, but it moves around with your allies, so really just a mobile lifeline drone, and if I'm honest, I'd rather see this as a lifeline buff than a whole new legend ability. Then his ultimate is completely crazy. It's an immortality beacon, just like Baptiste from Overwatch, where he can place this down, and within that certain area, nobody on your team can be down. Obviously, you will be able to destroy the beacon by shooting it, but this this seems like a very powerful ultimate, especially in the final zone. But that's uplink, and of course his abilities can change to balance them more, but that's what we know so far. Now the next one I'd like to talk about was Phantom. Now Phantom is very interesting because Phantom was apparently actually the working progress of Revenant Reborn. I mean, you all know who Revenant Reborn is. This is the huge Revenant rework that we should be seeing in Season 18, and this was an early version of it, but that doesn't mean that these abilities are never going to be used for a future legend. He had a double jump as a passive. He had a hook shot tactical, which would pull him really fast towards a wall. And the ultimate was, of course, a void grenade, which we also know is Fade's ability from Apex Mobile. But we'll talk a bit more about that later on. So yeah, just to get you up to speed, Phantom was an early version of Revenant Reborn, but it does show that they were testing abilities like having a double jump as a passive for a future legend. So if anything, you can definitely see the kind of abilities that they're trying to put into Apex Legends. Now, quickly moving on to Conduit. Now, I really like the idea of Conduit. Again, a support legend. Now, Conduit's passive is essentially just Watson's passive. It lets her heal shields over time, but she heals more shields when she has her allies nearby. The tactical is a very good support ability, though, that will heal the shields of your allies at the cost of some of your own shields, so you can really support your teammates if they're stuck in a fight or on really, really low health. Then the ultimate is an arc cluster bomb that will damage enemies and any shields that you damage from the enemies will start to recharge your own. This sounds like a perfect legend for Apex. If I'm honest, I'm really hoping Conduit comes in with this tactical and this ultimate because it could be awesome. So yeah, what do you think? Now, no matter which legend you choose to play, you can always get more out of Apex by using Z League and I've been really enjoying it recently because the Z League app has everything you need in one place. A feed where you'll see games gaming related content posted by other users on the app, a teammate finder where you simply swipe through different profiles and invite other people to play with you, but the best part about Z League is the new feature called Play Now. Play Now lets you compete against other similarly skilled players to win real prizes at the touch of a button. You can play for free or choose to wager Z League coins or even cash to win even bigger rewards. And if you win Z League coins, you can trade them in at the shop for all sorts of awesome things like new headphones, controllers, and more. So it's now easier than ever to use your Apex skills to earn yourself better rewards all within the Z League app. So use my link below to download the Z League app and you'll also get 500 coins just by signing up. And also if you comment on my post on the Z League app with the word win, then I'll select one winner to run a play now session with me because I've got 5,000 Z League coins, so there's plenty of rewards that we could win together. So yeah, hit me with a follow on the Z League app and I'll see you guys there. Now, one of the weirder legends that we saw back in this leak was Scryer. This was a very, very weird legend. In fact, so weird that his passive would make you spectate your killer. That's right, if you get killed in a game, then you'd be able to spectate them 
even when your team's alive, meaning you'd just kind of be able to tell them exactly where the enemy is. It seems like a very, very powerful passive if you're playing in a group. You could literally just call out every movement the enemy makes. And yeah, I don't know what they were messing with here. This seems absolutely stupid, but then he has a tactical ability called Optic Haunt. It's a parasite trap that would reveal the target's vision. Again, a trap that if triggered by the enemy would allow you to have access to their screen essentially you'd just be able to see what they see you'd probably be able to toggle in and out of it which just seems really really crazy as well being able to see what the enemy can see i mean it's kind of cool though it's a cool concept definitely makes a bit more sense than the passive and then his ultimate well do you recognize this this is basically catalyst wall I'm pretty sure this ultimate definitely evolved into Catalyst's ultimate. So if we ever saw Scryer, I'm sure he'd have a different type of ultimate. Maybe a huge wave that would blind enemies. I don't know. This is definitely one of the weirder legends. But hey, maybe these crazy abilities are what Apex needed. Then recently, we found out that Fade and Rhapsody are both being worked on in the main game of Apex. Now, you probably remember Fade's abilities as his passive would give you a temporary speed boost after sliding. His tag skill would let you rewind time back a few seconds which would just be incredible I, I would love this ability in the main game and then his ultimate was that void grenade that we saw they used for phantom so the developers even got a void grenade working in apex which means fade is very very likely and they know his abilities work now rhapsody was a little bit different her passive would give her visual cues for audio that you wouldn't normally necessarily be able to hear that well which in apex when the audio is absolutely Busted could make Rhapsody the most OP legend. Now her tactical, the Hype Anthem, would play a powerful track that speeds up nearby squad mates and restores shields, but if you took damage, it would end the effect. So it just amps up your team and can be used in a ton of different scenarios, but her ultimate was definitely something I wouldn't really expect in Apex. It's a huge wall that you can see through on one side, but the other side gets fully blocked, and you can even shoot through it, which just seems like a way more OP catalyst wall and it also does block scans so i think they'd have to change up rhapsody's abilities when they do want to add her into the main game but you can give me your thoughts on that so those are all the legends based on leaks that we know have been worked on in apex and some variation of these legends will undoubtedly come to the main game but now speaking lore wise there are definitely a few contenders for future legends now legends often come in pairs in apex we have mad maggie and fuse we have Bangalore and Newcastle. We had Revenant, then Loba. But we do know that some other legends have iconic duos that we've still not seen in the main game. For example, Rampart and Big Sister. This has been a theory for a very long time that Big Sister will come to the game and be that pair for Rampart. So definitely keep your eyes open for that. We also had Catalyst's old friend Margot. Now, Margot actually does kind of resemble Big Sister in a way with that lightning bolt tattoo on her eye. So Margot could could also actually be big sister that's a whole can of worms we don't need to go into but regardless Catalyst does have Margot, so Margot could also be a future legend. We did also find out that Pathfinder has a son out there somewhere. I have a child! So maybe even one day, Pathfinder's son will make it to the Apex Games. That's just a fun one I thought I'd throw out there. And finally, there are still people hoping that Forge makes it to Apex Legends. Now, if you didn't know the story behind Forge, Forge was a leaked legend ready for Season 4. He was in the game files ready to go, and then when when they revealed the trailer, Revenant, of course, killed Forge and became the new legend, and Forge was left in the dust. But a lot of people have theorized saying Forge will come back as a similar crumb. People also pointed out that they started selling Forge t-shirts recently, so could this be teasing Forge? So that's another thing you can definitely keep your eye out. But anyway, those are all the new legends that have been leaked in Apex, and hopefully that gives you a good idea of what's to come in the future, especially since they want Apex to be around for 20 years. Is, we definitely know we've got a few more legends in us at least so let me know who's your favorite and hopefully this was a nice video to look back on all those leaks anyway that's all from me guys i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one goodbye